this weekend ends Iowa State University's year-long effort to commemorate Jack Trice 100 years after his death. Our Griffin Wright joins us live this morning with how Jack Trice's legacy has impacted the community and what's all in store this weekend. Griffin, good morning. Good morning, Kaylin. Well, I'm here just where this year long commemoration started a year ago, uh, where Iowa State dedicated this art piece that's just behind me uh, to Jack Trice. It's called Breaking Barriers. But really, whether you talk to the football players that will be wearing Jack Trice's jersey tomorrow or community leaders, Jack Trice's legacy goes far beyond football. Yep, in the nation. Uh, so uh, I don't know. We just, we would. Just having that feeling that we playing for him on Saturday, just wearing them uniforms, it's, it's, a, it's a big impact on us. Having the courage to come and break the color barrier here at Iowa State in athletics, it's powerful. And it's not a, it's not a gimmick, it's not a t-shirt, it's not a uniform. It's, it's trailblazing, it's, it's courage. It's probably in a lot of ways what we're missing today in our society of, man, being willing to stand for something and be about something. It means a lot. Um, for a lot of guys just talking about it today, one of a big reason is just like how how we hold Jack Trice's name, um, how high um, his name is and what it means to a lot of people. Most importantly, I think it's an honor for us because we're able to share this story. We've learned so much about Jack Trice and his legacy, and now this is our opportunity to share it with Iowa State University, with Iowans, and with the world. And I think it's a story that is uh, an amazing story of a fallen football hero but also amazing story of who we are as Iowa State University. Now the closing ceremony is this Sunday on Central Campus. It starts at noon near the uh, Campanile and there will be many speakers and a posthumous degree presentation to Jack Trice's family members. Now after the reception there will be a uh, or after the ceremony there will be a reception at the Great Hall at Memorial Union but really uh, just the closing ceremony is a way to uh, recap, uh, celebrate the legacy, honor that legacy that Jack Trice left, but also uh, look forward to the future of the next hundred years of Jack Trice's legacy. Uh, really, it's just what his name uh, and his legacy has meant to this community. It's, it's hard to understate. Absolutely, an important story to tell and to share and one we won't soon forget. Griffin Wright reporting live for us in Ames this morning. Thank you, Griffin.